Hello again, in this series we're looking at making low poly stylized stones. In this episode we're looking at baking our maps, so cavity, normals and ambient occlusion. And I'll be talking about the common mistakes. This should be just a recap of what I went through in the previous series, so it's a bit quicker and if you need a more detailed explanation then click on the card in the corner. So let's bring this over and bring out our UV image editor, just there, and select our mesh and unwrap. Let's do a smart UV project and see what that looks like. I'll just increase the island margin and it's coming out okay. We could mark some seams but we're just but for the sake of this tutorial I think that's fine. I'm going to create a new material and call this stone AO for ambient occlusion and change it to 2048 by 2048. So it's very high res but these colors will be baking out later. I'll turn the alpha off because we don't need that and press OK. Now remember with the ambient occlusion we need to change the scene to have a samples of about 10 so it doesn't look so grainy. Let's go back to our render mode, down to the bottom where bake is, select the high poly first and then the low poly se second, so that's the selected, so you can have lots of selections if you like, and then the active is the one you select last. And we are obviously doing selected to active down here, so we can tick that, and we are using ambient occlusion. Always good to go into edit mode to make sure you're checking which map you're baking to. And I'm baking to stone ambient occlusion. So we can bake. Before we do that, let's normalize, which is, I believe, something to do with black and white. I can't remember quite. And then press bake. Okay, that seems to have worked. That looks pretty interesting around here, but I think that actually makes sense because I don't think there's a mesh in the middle here and it's not too grainy. Looks good. Let's save that image, save as, stone ambient occlusion, save. Create a new texture down here, new, and this one's going to be stone norms. And this one I'm not going to bake out in the end, it's going to stay the same all the way through, so I'll change this to 1024. It still may seem a little bit high, but you can always resize that in an image editing program like Photoshop. Don't need any alpha, so press OK. Rock HP and Rock LP are already selected in the correct order, so I can go down to Normals, down here. Selected to Active is already selected. Just quickly check that you're in the right mode by going out of Edit Mode and back in. We know we're now baking to Stone Normals, and press Bake. And that was relatively quick, and it looks okay. There are a few brown areas around here, which may cause us a problem, but I think they're in lots of crevices, so I don't think that's going to matter too much. The other thing that's worth mentioning, you can take this into either Blender, Paint, or Photoshop, and you can clone these areas and smooth them out fairly easily. Any browns are slight errors. So let's save that, save image as, stone norms. And lastly, we need the cavity bake. So let's go back to our rock HP, hide the low poly for now so we can see what's going on. And we go into vertex paint, into paint, dirty vertex colors. And what I haven't done through this whole process is changed my shading to smooth shading. Now I did think of taking that out and redoing it, but it's the type of mistake you might make. So I'm leaving it in. It's the sort of thing I do all the time. Let's see what effect it has, and then you know that you need to do that in future. So in object mode, we need to turn this into smooth shading. There's still slight details there that I would like to be slightly better. I should have checked that with the sculpt. Looks a bit unusual, but that should be fine. And on the low poly, that should be set to smooth shading as well. It looks like I'm gonna get away with it, but set them both to smooth shading. Okay, let's go back to the rock high poly and just check the vertex paint is still there. Yep, that's fine, that looks good. So let's make our low poly visible and select it last. We need to create a new map. So this is gonna be called Stone Cav for cavity. This can be 2048 by 2048 because we're gonna use this in our color maps later on and bake them out and press okay. Now I've got no vertices selected at the moment, so I'm not in edit mode. When I go into edit mode, it brings up the normal map. So that's what it would have baked to if I'd press bake at that point. So I change it to Stone Cavity, which is the map I created change my normals to vertex colors this time and just double check rock hp is selected first rock lp selected last into edit mode going onto the stone cavity map and i can press bake and there we go image save as image 
stone cavity, save. So there's my three maps, stone ambient occlusion, cavity, and normals. In the next episode, we'll be painting. So that completes our baking exercise. We should have three maps now ready for painting. So in the next episode, we will be looking at taking these maps and using them to help us paint. We'll be going a bit further than I did in the previous series, and we'll be learning new techniques of painting. If you'd like to support me more, then you can go across to my Patreon page. The links are in the description. And I really appreciate any comments and feedback. It really helps me improve my tutorials. So thanks for watching, and see you next time.